you put it up in air, it's going to lose some of that water, uh, which means that if you don't make sure that that cavity is filled with water, you will put back in, in, in the water, so those air bubbles come out, then the gills will stick together and it will be hard for the animal to breathe. When you hold them, if you hold them like that, then it's like when they're in the burrow, so they press their tail towards your hand and they are maybe not happy, but they are content with being held this way and they won't threaten. And when you're handling hen with uh, eggs, you don't want them to flip their tail because then they're going to lose a lot of the eggs. So this, this is the easiest way to hold them. Uh, the lobster norm normally has two different types of claws. Uh, it would have a snipper, which is slightly slender and it have, doesn't, doesn't have a lot of the uh, oh, uh, uh, no teeth on the inside. It's no teeth. No teeth. Yeah. No teeth. Thank you. Then we have the crusher, which is uh, thicker and has a lot of teeth. Um, in a homerus or in a normal lobster, you, they are much more, the difference is much larger. So these you really have to look at thoroughly to see the difference. If they lose a claw, they can um, lose it by, um, because they want to, someone is pulling their claws, so they just do it on purpose. They drop it here, and then a new claw will grow out eventually over each one. They use their shield or their big claws to dig. So they push the claws through the sediment like a bulldozer and uh, just move the sediment. Or they pick up food. They don't usually do that with the big claws, they do use the little legs and these, these uh, bones to, to handle food. Okay. So here's a male, and you can see that on these things that they, uh, they use to transfer the sperms to the female. On a female, these are just like threads. I will try and find one just later. And when you take, um, if you look at them from above, you can just barely see that it's it's slightly the female is slightly broader. See, it doesn't like to look like that. The female is slightly broader here, but just slightly. So since crustaceans have an outer hard shell, in order to get a blood sample, you need to get through that shell. And there are a couple of places where it's easy to go through the integument where they don't have that much. So here is a soft spot. This is the perfect place to take a blood sample. So you just insert it under the filament. Up comes blood. This is hemolymph. They don't have blood cells like we do, they, but they do have hemocytes. Um, their oxygen carrying protein is hemocyanin, which contains copper instead of iron, which means that when this is oxidized, it turns blue. So they are true blue blooded animals.